The following form has a special form of mobile form. First thing first, making a ready train. Accompanied by the manipulation. And in combination of Heavy Sky and King Akira. Together they are. Welcome to the battle zone. Monster Union not wanting to wait to start this episode. Obviously, lead strong and free here at the Great Toronto area. The GTA sold out once again in the AWL battle zone. Ladies and gentlemen, we're starting off with tag team action: the Monsters versus. I don't even know what these two guys. Are. Uh, their opponent is making their retreat from the statue of the star and the tail sustained by the tag team combination of their up against the wall and the dogs walk. Together they are the number four rank in the AWL best four. Overall, wait. You heard that right, number four rank in the AWL best four. They have flipped down the ranking since their rather painful loss to the Tiger Brothers last week. So they will not be challenging the Tag Team Championship at the Champions Week event coming up. They will, however, eventually, if they can maintain their rank, get their opportunity, which means this is a must-win match for Solar Wings if they want to stay in the title hunt. Only two titles in the AWL in the men's side of the roster, the male side of the roster, and that's the AWL Brand Championship, the AWL World's Tag Team titles. We are the only professional co-ed, professional wrestling promotion in the world that has more titles for women than we do men, at least at the moment. And shoot the half after an unusual shot off the top rope by... King Akira from the Sands of Time. 30 seconds in, Ateo blocking, using the fist to block the legs for that Hurricane Rana. That is a brilliant counter. Using the forearms, I should say, is the block. Tag is made, and now we've got the two athletic wrestlers, the two flexible, high-flying. One, quick kick out by Rupstein Stolar. These are actually two very similar tag teams, and you've got one smaller, more athletic wrestler, and you've got one larger, more power-based wrestler. You can hear those shots echoing throughout the battle zone as the Serpentine Sensation looking to fly off of the top rope. What's he thinking? He's thinking, oh, he's thinking Stomp. But fortunately, Rupstian Solar got out of the way and swing and miss with the Lariat. Went through that Tiger Fang kick to build up some extra momentum. But eventually had to settle for a traditional clothesline. Tag is made to... King Akira, back to the powerhouse, and that's what I love about these odd couple tag teams. One second you're facing a guy who can fly around the ring with the greatest of ease, next thing you know you're facing a brick wall. And the first tag made on the Solar Wing side of things, and it's power versus power, The Rock and King Akira. Hard shot right into the canvas, that black canvas of the Animated Wrestling League Strong and Free Division. Taking a look at the win-loss records here, King Akira, 22 and 22, perfectly balanced as all things should be, and the tag out to Eruption Stolar, 42 and 41, just barely on the positive side of the ledger. And he beats Guy, 21 and 24, The Rock, I can get down here to the T's on my spreadsheet, the Rock 23 and 19, so the best win-loss record of the quartet. And the attempt at the Romero special, not successful. Of course, the Rupstian Solar learned that from his master, from his sensei, from Jushin Thunder Liger. A great counter there to some sort of a double underhook attack. And now what is he doing? Ooh, rolling blockbuster. Erupsian Stolar using every ounce of his body weight. Right supernova! He spots the walls of the supernova. One, two, three. No. Very, very close to ending this match quickly. The supernova just 
up against a superhuman competitor, a post-human competitor, like King Akira, I don't know, of course you've got the manipulator, that witch, literally, on the outside of the ring, watching on, and apparently we, um, resurrection spells do occasionally glitch, ladies and gentlemen, that's just, you know, part of death, and part of life, and part of unlife, and part of afterlife as well. Well, it took a long way to go for that Kongshu salt. But gave Erupsi and Solar more than enough time to be ready to kick out of whatever was coming. And now, going for the touch of Anubis, straight to the underworld. The touch of Anubis, one, two. And now both of the legal combatants have tried their signature maneuvers, their ultimate techniques, their hisatsuwaza, as we say around here. To little or no avail. However, Roxy and Solar looking not so good at the moment. He is on spaghetti legs. I don't think he knows where he is right now. But he is in the corner of Monster Uni. He finally realizes, shakes the cobwebs out of his head, and tries to reclaim the territory. Gets King Akira, at least on his side of the ring, does Roxy and Solar, but not all the way into the corner. No tag Kogeki opportunity here. And the shots ring out. And Lariapo over the top rope down to the floor. If this was the contractual obligation rumble, that would have been an elimination. Yes, the contractual obligation Five rumble is coming up. And we do have an announcement for that that's going to be coming on AWL Hontai, the next episode, AWL Hontai 389. We've got a couple of major announcements about the Contractual Obligation Rumble. That's all I can tell you at the moment as the referee begins the 20 count on the outside of the ring. And The Rock, he's going to take a moment. He's going to catch his breath. He's got more than enough time to do that before getting back in the ring. Going to settle this like man, man to former man, man to mummy. Collar and elbow tie up. Up and oh, duplex toss. King Akira not leaving his feet of his own free will. I think that's good strategy. As we've got about nine minutes left in the contest. And oh, face first into the turnbuckle. Back elbow strikes a couple of them. And now the tag. Didn't want to go for a big tag Kogek. He didn't want to go for the pyramid bomb. They managed to go for this. The tag was made on the other side as well. Shinji dies. Sunrise. Going up. Oh, Solar Salt. Swing and a miss. Big swing and a miss with the Solar Salt. But Eropsia and Solar are going right back up to the high rent district waiting for it. No, thinks better of it. He's going to go for his uncharacteristic power move into the corner. Arabsian Solar a lot stronger than he looked. Of course, that Supernova using his opponent's momentum against him. And now... Huge slap blotting out the stun. But only getting a few count for his efforts. But another Solar Salt. This one connects. The Manipulator getting angry, telling her, her creatures, her... Those under her thrall to get their act together, and I don't blame them. Long way to go for an arm drag, but it works. Now the tag made to the rock, maybe the powerhouse in here to finish things. Gonna be looking for the spell check. Each of each no moon salt. Seven minutes, twenty something seconds. What do we have here? And face first into the canvas. Absolutely gorgeous. And again, this change of technique. You're not going to see top rope splashes. You're not going to see hurricane ranas. You're not going to see springboard moonsaults from the rock. But you're going to see someone get picked up and put down very, very hard. Oh, wait a minute. The Ophidian death grip. The grounded Ophidian. That's not good. The practitioner of snake style. 
having to be torn from his prey by Eruption Stolar. German attack, no, going up, backdrop. Almost a Saito suplex, not quite. And Spine Buster, the spine on the pine, but deep in the enemy corner. Not even gonna bother with that right now. He's gonna just sort of knock him away from the ropes. One, two, no. No need for defense from Eruption Solar. A little, a little jump into the gun there. And wait a minute, going for the spell check. Does not get it. Backbreaker, Lariat combination by Heavy Sky. Into the one. No. All four men in the ring now. Referee's gonna have to get some kind of control over this. Irish whip over the top rope again for the second time this match. Corruption Solar sending King Akira out of the ring the hard way. Irish whip and oh wait a minute. Oh! Whatever he was going for, he missed it. I think. I don't know what happened in there. The unbelievable body agency of Hebitsky on display. Double stomp, and he gets it this time. One, two. No, The Rock barely, barely getting the shoulder up. Ooh, hard sharp shot by The Rock. Looking for something kick. DDT connects. Coming up on our next time call here. Oh, it's missed with the drop kick. Ten minutes and oh, Venom! For Venom! Ten minutes and that snake Venom blinding the rock and into the Anaconda Vice. He can't see, he can't breathe. Eruption and Solar having to break that up. With a swift kick to the chest, but the cover is made regardless. One. Two, and again, The Rock on another Venom spit. That poison Venom. That Cobra Venom from, from Hebit Sky. The tag is made. King Akira now in, and The Rock. He can't see what he's doing right now. Neither of the solar wings with full vision. You know the old saying, you can't see, you can't fight. Cobra Venom to the eyes of both members of the number four rank in the AWO Best Four. That rank is on the line here. Losing to two unranked teams in a row in two consecutive weeks. That would be the end of solar wings chances at tag team gold and glory in this season i would imagine as solar wings rock trying to execute a sharpshooter it's not his best move that's a good way to work over the lower back of your opponent rock now looking i think roc b-o-t-t-o-m spell check roc b-o-t-t-o-m one broken up by the poison-spewing, venomous, vile Heritsky. Saving the match for his team, tag mate. Three minutes remaining. Heritsky back in the ring legally alongside The Rock. Eruption Solar watching on. Snake bite! Snake bite into the cover, but very close to the ropes. Wait a minute, does not see but that was under the ropes, I think. No harm, no foul in the end. Full Nelson slammed the illegal fighter. Corruption Solar, he's got to get out of here before the referee starts counting him out. As Habitsky works over the leg of the rock, trying to keep him down. Nasty looking suplex by Habitsky. He makes the tag. King Akira going to be looking for the touch of Anubis to end the rock. To end, and yeah, I was right, called it. The touch of Anubis. Cover. Referee two, slightly out of position. One. Two minutes remaining. Saved once again by the partner. That's why we have longer time limits in tag team matches. And now a double trapezius hold by 
King Akira showing the strength, power, leverage advantage he has over the now barely conscious Eruption Solar, who again, not the legal fighter, not the legal wrestler. And into the corner. Referee's making the count. Broken up. Eruption Solar is going to get out of there, and he knows it. He does so. The Rock back in control. There's been a chaotic tag team encounter, and we're only just getting started. We got another big tag team match in our main event. The grand champion and number one contender. We got opposite sides of the ring. So give us a like, share, subscribe if you want to make sure you never miss a moment of the AWL action. One minute remaining. Probably should have said that more than 16 minutes into the show. And here we go. He's to us out. Supernova! One, two, three! And Solar Wings picks up a season-saving victory. Take a look at some of this. Powering out of some of that action. But in the end, despite the poison in the face twice, here are your winners. Solar! Solar Wings tag team pick up the victory, maintain their number four ranking, and we'll see what happens at Champions Week. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the first of two singles matches that will preview our Joshi Championship singles bouts at Champions Week. The midpoint of the season, AWL Strong and Free, episode 30. AWL Hometie, episode 390. All titles must be defended. And here comes the challenger for the Joshi Championship. The boy from the one fall, introducing Kirk, from the Isle of the he is the number two right to be able to grow as a fool of modern day Amazon, Athena J. You heard that right, number two. And Athena Jane, the number two rank in the AWL Best Four. The number one rank is actually Amy Wade, her tag team partner and the kid she was talking to a moment ago. Amy Wade has said she does not want to challenge for the Joshi Championship before she becomes the Canadian National Champion. Amy Wade will challenge Spring Tiger for the Canadian belt at Champions Week, so she has stepped aside and allowed the number two rank, Athena Jane, to take her place. Both Athena Jane and Amy Wade will be challenging for singles titles at Champions Week, so this week they get warm-up singles matches. And her opponent from Mexico City, Mexico, accompanied by Tormenta de Fuego, the Jules of Lucha Libre, Joya! As Joya dashes to the ring, the Jewel of Lucha Libre knows that a victory over the number one contender, the challenger, for the Joshi title, that would catapult her into title contention. And the same can be said for Erups, for uh, Tormenta del Fuego. So all four of these women, this is not a tag team situation. This is two back-to-back -back singles matches. And there you see the power that the Joshi champion, the Mistress of a Thousand Holds, Akira Medine, is going to have to deal with at Champions Week, AWL Strong and Free, Episode 30. That's going to be next week, so please, please, please smash that subscribe button so that you never miss a match or an event for the Animated Wrestling League. Incredible kick by Joya using her advantage, her Lucha Libre training, into the Hurricane Rana, and very good job actually hitting that Rona off of the top rope. Very close. Very short range, that. 
The offense swatted away by Athena Jane, the modern day Amazon. The first and so far only Greek wrestler to be signed to an animated wrestling league contract. And attempted a, essentially a running jewel cutter. And a shot right to the head, control the head, the body will follow. That's good strategy by Joya of the Ladies of Lucha tag team, LOL. Yeah, I know, that does kind of reflect our win-loss record. Joya going up to the top. What's she thinking here? She wants her opponent on her feet. Maybe think of another Hurricane Rana? Yes, she is, once again. Hurricane Rana off of the top rope. And going for, looking for the the diamond flosion does not connect up and oh face first and the referee is calling that a knockout let's take a look at that again from another angle yeah that was there was no defense on that here is your winner of Nina J it's going to be power versus skill at champions week and ladies and gentlemen, we are moving immediately into our next singles match. The partners have switched places. It's the undefeated true Toronto star, Amy Wade, versus the firestorm of Lucha Libre, Tormented of Fuego. One on one, a first time ever encounter. Over the top rope, down! With an enormous splash. The fire burns brightly in Tormenta del Fuego as she is looking for knee to the face. Amy Wade, she's been using that spring tiger giddy. She's been using the knockout knee strike. And recently, of course, debuted the most Canadian move in the history of professional wrestling, the sharpshooter and speak of the devil. And there it appears, eh? That's it, sharpshooter locked in very early in the contest. Amy Wade does not use the sharpshooter as a finish. She uses it to wear her opponent down, to wear her opponent's back out as a setup for the STG as that works out of an Argentinian backbreak situation. So you weaken the back. That gives her actual finishing move, or the move she's been using as a finish, a lot more weight to it. Already one victory for the newly minted tag team of Amy Wade and Athena Jane. We don't even have a tag team name for them yet. If you can think of a name for Amy Wade and Athena Jane, drop it in the comments. And looking to end the win streak at one, two, not so fast. Taking a look at the actual numbers here. On the upswing, Amy Wade, 4-0. and oh. It's not a big win-loss win record. It's not a big win streak. But she is the only undefeated... Uh-oh. Into the cover. Only undefeated woman in the AWL. One, two. Though that may be changing somewhat soon. <laughs> swing and a miss. Down it goes. Uh-oh. Set up for that running knee that she's been using to knock people out. And the knee overdrive, I've been called that's called. Knee overdrive. And now into a back into the sharpshooter. Maybe looking for her first sharpshooter victory here in Toronto in the GTA. I mean, she comes to the arena on, on the TTC. Hometown girl is Amy Wade. She's used some unsavory tactics to get the attention of the AWL Canadian National Champion, Spring Tiger. But in the end, by insistence of Spring Tiger herself, that title match is going to happen at Champions Week. It's going to be Spring Tiger defending the Canadian National Championship against Amy Wade. Spring Tiger will be at ringside for our tag team main event a little bit later this evening as well. Check the behind Moonsault from the bottom rope. Going to go for the trifecta, I think. One more time. Up and boom! 
Moonsaruto, triple moonsault combination. A little show off -y, perhaps, but you could say that about all of Lucha Libre, or at least the style of it. And when, oh, burning the hammer! One, two, three, no! That, not quite, the, the temperature not quite as hot as the traditional burning hammer, let's say. And, oh! Missed with the fireball. And there's the knockout knee. Knee overdrive. K.O. Knee overdrive. Here is your winner, Amy Way. Those are the challengers. A confident declaration of pre-victory by the true Toronto star, Amy Wade. One of the biggest things to happen to the Animated Wrestling League this season. In this season where we have been focusing on the Joshi Division. And we continue our focus on the Joshi Division right now. Solo Darling versus Max the Impaler. And I need to make an apology. I was unaware of Max the Impaler's actual gender when I referred to them with she, her pronouns in the debut match last week. I apologize. I regret the error. It will never happen again. The following contest is scheduled for one fall ball. Introducing her, making her whimper in, she is one half of the animated wrestling league, Joshi Tag Team Champions, the, the Stupid Creature. Solo Darling's tag team partner, the incomparable Willow Nightingale, not here, still at home recovering from the damage she took in the tag team street fight on AEW Rampage not that long ago. If you haven't seen that match, go back and watch it. If you're not watching Rampage, it's a really good show. It's tight, it's one hour, it's, you get some really good wrestling there. And now, the non-binary nightmare makes her first full entrance on an AWL broadcast. Last week, Max debuted. They teamed up with Razorwing as Team Infringement, winning a mixed tag team match. And that means Max the Impaler, they are 1-0 in the AWL. And her opponent, making their way to the ring from the wasteland, Max the Impaler! If you haven't seen Max the Impaler before, they were um, part of Ring of Honor in the dying days of that, of that promotion's independent status. Hopefully they'll be brought into the AEW version at some point. You can also see them on NWA Power in the employ of the Sinister Minister James Mitchell. As part of whatever YouTube nonsense that show of a promotion is currently doing. Max the Impaler stalking the ring right now, looking for Solo Darling. And we're about to see a beast unleashed. <laughs> Inverted power slam to start us off. And the crowd here just a hush falling over the AWL battle zone. These Canadians do not know what to make of Max the Impaler. And oh! As Solo Darling heading up to the top rope. And elbow drop from the top. And did you see the distance there? This is a 20 by 20 foot ring. She got a, an easy good 14, 15 feet off of the top rope. And this, it, it's not a trampoline up there. There's not a lot of room to get your power. All that has to come from your legs. The legs of Solo Darling incredibly strong as seen in her signature 
submission, her own sharpshooter variation, the sharp stinger. As Solo, the tag team champion, blasting away at Max the Impaler. I should also point out Max the Impaler is a tag team champion in her own right. One half of the Tokyo Joshi Pro. Uh, I think they're the princess tag team champions. The Warriors of the Wasteland picking that picking that title up uh, earlier this month, earlier in January. And, oh, elbow drop from the top again, but this time by Max the Impaler. And look at this, he just controls her opponent with stop power. Dominator, deadlift domination. And a 2.75 at least. And maybe the referee, maybe uh, maybe Joey Baba Ganoush of the... Oh, no, that's not Joey, that's his cousin Marcus Baba Ganoush. And another... What is, is this like the, the year of the knee strike? Well, I'm not going to complain, it works. Max the Impaler with a quick and decisive victory over one half of the tag team champion. Check this out, from a complete deadlift, twists her around, dominator, and then hits that knee. Take a look at that from another angle. Solo didn't really have a chance here, did she? Here's your winner, Max the Impaler! Max the Impaler has made their way to the Animated Wrestling League. And now, ladies and gentlemen, champion and challenger on opposite sides of a tag team match? Who'd have thunk it? That's never happened before. The following contest is your main event of the evening, scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, making their win of the ring, from the smoke-filled arenas of yesteryear and the independent circuit, the tag team combination of Matt Classic 2 and the number one contender in the AWO Best 4, Matt Classic Senior. Together they are House Coolastic! As we welcome the first ever intergenerational tag team champions, in AWL history, father and son set for action against former, the most recent former tag team champions of the world. And of course, Matt Classic faces Black Tiger Justice for the Grand Championship next week at Champions Week. And there making their wiggle ring from the unified School of the Tiger style, accompanied by the animated wrestling league Canadian national champion, Spring Tiger, the tag team combination of Tiger Mask 3, and the reigning animated wrestling league, the Red the champion, Black Tiger Justice. Together they are the Tiger Brothers. Spring Tiger will defend her Canadian National Championship against Amy Wade. Black Tiger Justice will defend the Grand Championship against Mac Classic Senior. And Tiger Mask 3 will probably also be in the building. I kid, I kid, but yeah. I, th I think it's, it's, it's becoming increasingly clear who the Marty Jannetty of this tag team is. The Black Tiger, uh, Black Tiger Justice, he's not going to abandon his friends. He has not missed a single tag team match since becoming a singles champion. He is dedicated, maybe burning the candle at both ends, but he's dedicated to the unified school of the Tiger style. Bang a gong, we are on for this main event, and it's Matt Plastic 2, the younger of the plastics. You can tell because he wears knee pads and elbow pads like a sissy boy. Ooh, and a snap and kick right to the face. Well, right to the mask, I should say. Mask will provide no protection. In fact, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a prediction for this match. Um, I predict that... Ooh, 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 wow. I predict that the team in the masks will win. 
Took way too long to set up that joke, and it wasn't even funny. Going up, and Snake Eyes attempted a 450 splash, blocked by the knees, by the knee pads. And a bit of a ripcord as well into the cover. One. And notice how Matt Classic 2 sort of slid his partner across the mat just away from the ropes. And the tag is made for the first time. We've got Champion and Challenger in the ring together. Vertical suplex. That was a match ender in his day. Matt Classic Sr., the world's oldest active professional wrestler. Been wrestling since 19, oh, whatchamacallit. The inventor of professional wrestling. And if you know about the history of wrestling, that should give you some idea of his general age. Hits the elbow. Economy of movement in his old age, I will say. I shall be as polite as I possibly can here. Catch the leg, drag and screw leg whip by the champion to the challenger. Oh wait, quick roll up. Out of nowhere, sneaky little roll up. Like a sneaky little bush in a Bob Ross painting. And taking his time on the leg drop. You've never seen anybody drop a leg in wrestling earlier or better than Matt Classic. He invented the leg drop. Double tag made. Collar and elbow tie up. And instead of a vertical suplex, a small package driver that does not hold for the pin. Couldn't get the far leg hook, unfortunately. Matt Classic 2, a more innovative style than his father. That's why the father is known as the inventor of professional wrestling. The son is the innovator of professional wrestling. Couple of hard shots here going up. And, well, down. Nice counter. Good balance by Tiger Mask 3, the former Sheen Tiger Jr. Trying to regain control of the contest with about 12 and a half minutes on the clock over the top rope. As the partner gets out of the way, hot shot. Hot shot stunner. And now the roll through. Oh, and a thrust kick. A vicious thrust kick. As the referee begins, count on the outside. Standing moonsault on the floor. And if you can see the contrast between the barricade and the ringside area, you can see just how thin these protective mats are. And that is raw concrete right under those really, really thin mats. Six. And of course, that will reset the count. Electric chair, the Texas chair, as it used to be called around here. I think we'll call that back into the four count, even if he didn't say it, the hands went up. And that's a lovely shot of the referee's ass. Um, can, can someone check the programming on the camera bots? I think they're malfunctioning. Yeah. And around the world, with the code gold, and the tag is made, in comes Black Tiger Justice, the AWL Grand Champion. Looking for a win here, looking for the momentum, looking for the psychological advantage over his opponent at Champions Week. I don't know if that's going to work against a guy like that. Matt Classic has been wrestling forever. In just his AWL career, 69 wins, 44 losses, well over 100 matches, Season Zero original. Black Tiger Justice, he's had an active career, but not a very long one. 52 wins, 29 losses. Tonight is Black Tiger Justice's 82nd match. So that's a huge difference, not to mention the decades of experience that Matt Classic had before coming to the AWL. And what is this? Looks like a looks like a modified version of the Fujiwara armbar. He's not leaning back entirely on that. Maintaining his center of gravity, but that leads him to the vulnerability. The vulnerability just taken advantage of by BTJ. Matt Classic cannot afford to make any mistakes. Neckbreaker by Black Tiger. Tag is made. In comes the tag team partner. In comes Tiger Mask 3. And he falls victim to the vicious aeroplane spin 
of a map classic. I've seen I have seen him win matches with this, I swear to god. I have seen him win matches with the airplane spin. That's why we call him a map classic, ladies and gentlemen. Drops his opponent. Is he gonna go for the cover here? Yes he is. I've seen him win on this combination. One, but very quickly blocked. No defense from Matt Classic 2. Oh, and the atomic knee drop by the atomic drop by the challenger, the number one contender. Tag is made. In comes AWL's next generation, the modern generation. And he's got the classic claw! The move bequeathed by his father, the move his father taught to Fritz von Erich once upon a time. The Fritz never quite got right. The classic claw. And the shots are fired. Here we go, cover the one, two, three. Tiger Mask, after enduring the classic claw, not able to kick out, but notice that the partners beat, the partners beat each other. The champion and challenger not involved in that decision. So as we take a look at some of the action, and that's the kind of veteran wiliness, guile, that could win Matt Classic Senior, the Grand Championship, and a nice big boot combination in there. But that was the beginning of the end, the discombobulation. Here are your winners. Out We've got one more episode of AWL Home Time, and then it's Champions Week. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss a show. We'll see you next time here in the Animated Wrestling League. Kore de Kimari Da.